Transfer windows are usually confusing and annoying. You hear rumours about your club being linked to a load of players and sometimes they end up signing none of them. Some other times your club chooses to fixate on players they don't even need and you're left annoyed and helpless. Well, today we want to try and give your clubs a little clue for their summer business. This is one signing your favourite club must make this summer. Let's start with Arsenal. From what we hear, the North London club seems to be in the market for a striker or a left winger, but what they really should be looking for is a backup for Bukayo Saka on the right. Saka is the Gunners best player, so he needs to be protected. He's only 22, but he's played an insane number of minutes already, which from experience is never a good thing. Arteta needs to start rationing his minutes so he doesn't start physically declining at 25. And the only way the coach can ration Saka's minutes is if he has a good enough backup. On the left, they've got Martinelli and Trossard. In the middle, it's Havertz and Jesus. But on the right, it's just Saka. If the club wants Saka to play at the top level for years to come, that needs to change this summer. Meanwhile, the other North London club also needs to sign a striker. Spurs lost Harry Kane last year and they've not been able to replace him. That led to Ange Postacoglu having to use Son as a centre forward for most of last season. Son is the club's best player, and the best player should always play in his most preferred position, which in Son's case is on the left of attack. They got Timo Werner on loan, but that didn't work out, and obviously Richarlison isn't working so well either. So Spurs need to be looking for a striker who can score at least 20 goals in a season. According to rumours, they're looking to sign Tammy Abraham or Dominic Solanke, and they don't look like bad options at all. What about Man City? They look like they've got the perfect team, don't they? Well, there is something missing, a right winger. The 2023-24 season showed us all that Foden is not a winger, neither are Bernardo Silva or Julian Alvarez. So Pep would have to get a proper right winger to stop trying to shoehorn players into positions where they're not comfortable. Yes, Oscar Bob is a right winger, but he doesn't seem ready for the big stage just yet, so City might still need to sign one while he develops, hopefully one that's not too costly. Also, Bernardo Silva always seems to be on his way out of the club, so pretty soon they won't even have the Portuguese to force into that position. But what Manchester United need is a defensive midfielder. Casemiro looks like he's totally done, so it's best that the club finds a replacement now. They've got Bruno, Mounts, McTominay and Maynou, so they're sorted everywhere else in midfield. They just need to take care of the six, and they're golden. According to reports, they're linked with Jao Palinha, Jao Neves and Amadou Anana. If they can land any of these guys, they'll be fine. Let's now leave England for just a while. By Munich, they need to sign a winger. From the days of Robben and Ribéry, the German giants have been known to be a home for flying wingers, but they seem to be losing that reputation. Gnabry, Komen and Sané are all physically declining. They need to start looking to replace them. Last season, Tuchel was forced to use Muziala, Guerrero and Alfonso on the wings at different points because of the unavailability of the wingers. That should not have happened. Anyway, Bayern seemed to be on the right track with Michael Oliza's signing reportedly close to being completed. More on top of that signing wouldn't hurt. And you know who else needs to sign a winger? Barcelona. In their case, they specifically need a left winger. Their left wing is so weak. While they have Yamal and Rafinha, their most productive wingers on the right, what they have on the left is inconsistent Ferran and possibly Felix if they renew his loan deal and Ansu Fati if they end up keeping hold of him. If you watched the Blaugranas last season, you'd have noticed how lopsided their attack almost always was. Buying an effective left winger balances everything up. And even if they want Ansu to return, having someone else on his wing would make it easy for him to adapt back into the team with less pressure. Ideally, Nico Williams is the best option for them, especially seeing how he and Yamal are developing a connection in the Spain camp. But if they can't get him, then the likes of Luis Diaz and Desiree Douay might also be good options. For Real Madrid, yes, they do seem complete, but they still need to sign a right back. Their two right back options, Carvajal and Vasquez, are both way in their 30s, so Madrid would be wise to sign a Carvajal understudy now. With the way Madrid's captains have been leaving abruptly in recent years, we wouldn't be surprised if Carvajal just decides to up and leave next year, and Madrid would surely love to be ready for life after him, and signing a right back now is how they get ready.
Speaking of right backs, Liverpool also need to sign one. It could be the solution to a lot of problems. It could help them properly rotate Trent, who really struggled with fitness issues last season, and it could also help Slot properly experiment with Trent further up the pitch or in midfield. Also, the rumours about Trent moving to Real Madrid should not be completely ignored. He has won it all at Liverpool, and so he might be looking for a new challenge next year. If Liverpool get a good right back now and integrate him into the team by next year, if Trent decides to leave, they'd be ready. As for Atletico Madrid, they need to sign a right winger. Griezmann is not a winger, which means that the only right winger they have in their squad is 29-year-old Angel Correa, who's just not a player you can rely on for a full season. Their left side looks okay with Samuel Lino, Riquelme and possibly Marcus Paolo. They just need to balance things up by getting a good right winger as well. Only then can they think of signing a centre forward. Finally, Chelsea. Honestly guys, Chelsea don't need to sign anybody. With how many players Chelsea have signed over the last two years, we think they need to go on a break for like two more transfer windows. These guys have seven strikers, five goalkeepers, seven centre backs and about ten wingers. They definitely don't need to sign anybody else. In fact, Chelsea even have a few players you have forgotten are still under contract with the club. If you doubt that, watch this video and see for yourself.